So I want to give a quick introduction to the Heckscher Moline model of uh, international trade. And Heckscher Moline differ from the Ricardian model in that there are now two factors of production. Uh, and for this version, let's just call them um, capital and labor. And um, so you have a production function that depends on capital and labor. And there's two products, and let's call them uh, computers and, uh, and food are the two uh, products. And we'll, we'll assume that uh, the productions are such that uh, computers uh, are relatively, relatively intensive in in capital and uh, food is production is relatively intense in in uh, in labor. So this idea of being relatively intense is kind of hard to pin down without a uh, more lot more algebra and and set up. So we're going to leave it kind of loose. Uh, and we're just going to say that um, computers are relatively intensive in their production in capital and food is relatively uh, intense in, in labor. And the idea here is that both sectors confronting the same prices for capital and labor. Uh, capital is going to have a higher marginal product if, if they're using the same levels in production would have a higher marginal product in the computer sector. And then, so the computer sector would use relatively more capital compared with labor compared with the food sector. So it's that double comparison again. So the computer sector uses relatively more capital um, relative to how much is used in the food production relative to how much labor they're using. So again, double double comparison, very important in the hexro lean model. Now, Hector Olin model says that uh, if you had two countries and they opened up for trade and they were both exactly the same, there wouldn't be uh, any basis for trade because they'd have the same pre-trade prices, the same autarky prices. So the basis for trade comes because countries differ in their endowments of the factors of production. So countries differ in their endowments and their factor endowments. And some countries have more capital. So let's say country A has more capital relative to labor, and B has less capital relative to labor. And these are relative to each other. A has relatively more capital to labor compared with, with B. Um, if that's the case, then the pre-trade factor prices will differ. Because the country that has relatively more capital will have a low cost of capital. And the country that has relatively more labor will have a low uh, wage, again, relative to the other country. So B will have a low wage and A will have a low cost of capital. So if that's true, A will have a bigger computer sector relative to food because the cost of capital is low there. It's relatively low. Remember, that's relative to the cost of labor, relative to the other country, uh, and has a lower cost of capital, and computers are intensive in capital. So that's then the computer sector is going to be relatively large, so the price of computers relative to the price of food is going to be lower in A than it is in B. So the price of computers 
will be relatively low in A. That's the same thing as saying that the price of food will be relatively low in B. The denominator is a small number, then this whole fraction uh, becomes a, a large number. So that then gives us uh, a basis for, for trade. Um, computers are cheap in A and expensive in B, so computers will travel from A to B, and uh, food will go from, from B to A when the two countries can open up for trade. So the, since the world price has to uh, fall in between, so P computers, P food in, in A, uh, we'll have a world price uh, that's in between the pre-trade prices. Um, so in country A, what happens? Well, PC is going to be rising compared with what it was uh, before, right? So that you have that greater sign. So in country A, PC rises and PF falls. So the computer sector expands. and the food sector falls. Now, who benefits from that? Well, the owners of the factor that's used in the computer sector benefit, so the owners of capital benefit, and the owners of uh, labor, the sector the, that's used relatively in uh, the food sector, they are worse off. So capital is better off, labor is worse off in country A, and the reverse for country B. And that's a quick, brief uh, introduction to the hector olin uh, model, which gives predictions about the pattern of trade and the distributional effects of trade.